the first half. We've got Pioneer Mustang 7 and the Lee Longhorn 7. You're listening to Mustang Football on Pioneer Radio 89.3, the Stampede. A preoccupation with gambling may cause some people to risk more than money. They may be gambling away their health, happiness, and their family's welfare. Here are a few signs of problem gambling. You've gambled until you lost your last dollar. Thoughts of gambling have caused you to lose sleep. You've ended up gambling for longer than you planned to, and you've made repeated attempts to stop. According to the National Council on Problem Gambling, people who identify with any of these signs are likely to be problem gamblers. There are all cer certain risk factors that can increase the odds of you developing gambling problems, including stressful life events such as the death of a loved one or a divorce, and even an early big gambling win or pre-existing health problems such as depression and a family history of addiction. There is help. Visit ncpgambling.org for more information on how you can stop. This public service announcement has been brought to you by KMTG San Jose, 89.3, The Stampede. You can prevent type 2 diabetes, and you don't have to knock yourself out. It's about small steps. If you're over 45 and overweight, you're at risk for diabetes. Lose a small amount of weight by being physically active 30 minutes a day, five days a week, and eating healthier. Take your first step to living a longer and healthier life. Talk to your health care provider about your risk for type 2 diabetes. Learn how you can delay or prevent the disease. Get free information and tools from Small Steps, Big Rewards, a campaign of the National Diabetes Educational Program. Visit their website at ndep.nih.gov to download free materials online. This is a message from the Department of Health and Human Services National Diabetes Educational Program and a public service announcement from KMTG San Jose, 89.3, The Stampede. A wave of compassion and caring here in the U.S. has given two children from Indonesia a chance for a new life. The tsunami that struck Indonesia in 2004 turned their lives of 7-year-old Tara Alia and 11-year-old Hamdani upside down, injuring them severely. Both children received treatment and new prosthetics at Shriners Hospital for Children, Philadelphia. Tara and Hamdani came to the Philadelphia Hospital through the Global Medical Relief Fund, a charitable organization that provides transportation to the United States and housing to children injured by war, natural disaster, or illness. At Shriners Hospitals, treatment is provided to children under 18 without regard to race, religion, or relationship to a Shriner. If you know a child, Shriners can help. Call 1-800-237-5055 in the United States. This public service announcement was brought to you by KMTG San Jose 89.3 The Stampede. Voice of Mustang Sports, football, and basketball. This is KMTG San Jose 89.3 The Stampede. And we're back here at Pioneer Mustang Stadium at halftime with your Pioneer Mustangs trailing 7 to 14 to the visiting Lee Longhorns as we watch the homecoming festivities just get underway here as the varsity spirit squad is doing their best Halloween uh, uh, dance out there yep. and putting on a good show for these uh, happy fans. Yeah, and Honestly, really no reason to be mad. I mean, we're down a score, but it's been a solid game for Pioneer, I think. Yeah. No, it definitely has, and we're also out here celebrating the 50th anniversary of Pioneer High School. And uh, I'm an alumni of this school 10 years ago. It was 40 years, but uh, the big 5-0, and we are happy to bring you the action right here on Pioneer yep. as they go uh, announce the homecoming king and queen. Uh, the girls are out there with the dash, uh, their sashes on as uh, they look like they're excited to be out there on the field, get their little moment of glory. As uh, we've had a good matchup here so far, as yeah, we, we thought have. we would. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the story is definitely uh, Gabe Davis, the quarterback for Oak Grove, is has been single-handedly running up and down the field. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the pioneer has yet to find an answer for him, but. 
Uh, on the other side, Pioneer has been able to run the ball and uh, move the ball down the field pretty, pretty good. Um, but we're still missing that passing game that we've been looking for. Yeah, and um, you know they've gone in the air three times, which is uh, really more than they have in a couple of games. But uh, Drew, Drew Fryhoff really looks comfortable out there, and I think that's huge for a young guy as himself, a sophomore in his first varsity game. And um, as for the defense, you're absolutely right about Gabe Davis. He is just running all over the field. And Pioneer has had trouble with running quarterbacks. You go back to the midi game with uh, Kyle Boehm and how good he was. But uh, they got some late pressure on Davis uh, late in the second half. And I think if they come out and can just, that defensive line can just get some jumps on the snaps, uh, Pioneers are going to have a strong defensive second half. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dominique DeBoer getting in there with that big sack. Right. Uh, Save, if he could have pulled down oh, that almost interception man. reading that screen, uh, we'd have a whole different game on yeah, our hands. Uh, the momentum would have swung in such a different direction uh, if he could have done that. But we're, we're still in this game, yep. only trailing by seven. 14 to 7, uh, the visiting Lee Longhorns in town. Uh, both teams at 1 and 6. Uh, Lee is ahead in the division because of their 1 and 3 record in the division. Pioneer has yet to win a division game. So looking for that first one tonight on this beautiful night. The rain has not hit us. We are yeah, loving it's, life. Uh, it's great out here. Uh, we are under a tent just in case. But <laughs> as it is right now, we did not need it. So the rain holding off for us. A uh, slight chill in the air. But these fans are keeping it warm here. Yeah, they, are, yeah. they are looking for some action. High spirits. For it. So... Um, it's halftime here at Mustang Stadium with the score Pioneer Mustang 7 and the Lee Longhorns 14. You're listening to Mustang Football on Pioneer Radio 89.3, The Stampede. When children can learn music, they need some basic necessities. Food, clean water, health care, and music teachers around the country are working to help make that possible for victims of disasters. MUNC, the National Association for Music Education, will help the charity Feed the Children deliver food, medicine, and clothing to families affected by events like Hurricane Katrina. MUNC aims to raise more than $1 million to support the international charity. The 100-year-old organization of school music teachers chose the charity because it is one of the first responders in times of crisis. Feed the Children received a four-star rating from Charity Navigator, a charity evaluator, and was approved by other watchdog groups. $140 delivers 1,000 pounds of food. For more information about this relief effort or Music in Our Schools Month, call 1-800-336-3768 or visit www.menc.org. This public service announcement was brought to you by KMTG San Jose 89.3, The Stampede. Those in search of a timeless and unforgettable gift may find an excellent opportunity in a surprising place. In a gesture that gives in more ways than one, you can recognize loved ones and admired role models by naming a part of Shriners Hospitals for Children. Donations can go to any of the 22 hospitals and include buildings for about $25 million, hospital wings for $10 million, hospital rooms for about a quarter of a million dollars, and other major areas at various costs. For more information at Shriners Hospital, Hospitals that provide medical care to children with orthopedic problems, burns, and spinal cord injuries, at no cost, visit www.shrinershq.org. If you know a child Shriners can help, call 1-800-237-5055. This public service announcement was brought to you by KMTG San Jose 89.3, The Stampede. When people talk about green homes, they're probably not talking about a paint color. A green home is one that uses less water and energy than the average home, recycles more, avoids lawn chemicals, and saves on utility bills. That keeps more green in the homeowner's wallet. For starters, replace frequently used incandescent bulbs with compact fluorescent ones. But be aware that many compact bulbs do not work with dimmers. Install motion sensors for outdoor floodlights and occupancy sensors for indoor hallways, closets, garages, and basements. Install digital timers, which work like regular switches when turned on, but shut power off after a regular timed interval. 
Perhaps most importantly, remember to turn lights off when you are not using them. Ask everyone in your household to switch off lights when they leave a room. Used wisely, electrical devices can light the way to a greenhouse. This public service announcement was brought to you by KMTG San Jose 89.3 The Stampede. You're listening to Mustang Football on Pioneer's radio station, KMTG San Jose, 89.3, The Stampede. 89.3, The Stampede. This is Steve Dini here in the studio. And we're at halftime right now, and we are uh, looking forward to a a second half where Pioneer can come back pretty strong, we hope. And uh, we are looking at a score of 14 to 7. Lee Longhorns are in the lead right now, so... uh, Gentlemen, uh, let's talk a little bit about how these uh, this broadcast came to be. Um, uh, how how is the weather out there, by the way? Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, uh, slight beautiful. chill in the air, but uh, it is fantastic great, out here. Great football weather. If I could see the sky, I'd tell you what the sky looked like. But we are <laughs> hidden underneath this tent right now. Uh, well, how big is that tent anyway? Uh, it's, it's 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 too big. Too big, but we're uh, we're making do. And uh, if the rain does decide to kick up, we will be all ready for it. But okay. it, it is a beautiful night here. Uh, the dance team has just come out on the field. They're looking to start their performance. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, well, I can hear it. Yeah. That's <laughs> it really loud. What are they performing right in the booth there with you guys? Yes, yeah. they are dancing on the table. Oh, it's weird. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself, boys. I'm a married man. Uh, okay, all right. I'm only 16, so. Yeah, I know. You, you could go to jail. Okay. <laughs> well, listen, now, let's talk a little bit about how this, um, these broadcasts came into being. You know, I've been trying to uh, organize the uh, radio broadcast and broadcast these football games now for about, uh, oh gosh, a good five or six years. And uh, it took us a long time to get permission from the district, the San Jose Unified School District, to do it. And then over the summer, they uh, they came out and put some uh, Cat 5 lines in and had... Uh, had uh, them installed into the studio and we were able to do the broadcast so uh, it's really quite a privilege and quite an honor to be able to do these games and we really want to thank uh, Mike Stockwell who's an engineer at K-Bay and uh, KEZR radio here in San Jose and he's the guy that was pretty instrumental in getting all yeah, this together. Because, absolutely. Uh, you guys remember working with him a little bit. Probably Matt more than, uh, than John. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Mike came out here and had, on his own time and uh, a lot of his own expense, let us borrow some equipment. And uh, just put us on the air and really worked with the computer and worked with the microphones and uh, got us set up out there. So we want to do a big shout out to Mike Stockwell and... Uh, the good folks at KB, uh, KBAY Radio. Oh, absolutely. We could not could not be out here uh, doing this without him. Uh, God knows John wasn't going to do it. So, uh, it's true. It's glad, true. <laughs> glad Michael's here to do it for us. Well, it's good when your partner has your back out there, huh, John? <laughs> uh, well, he knows. It's, it's <laughs> really the truth. Uh, you know, watching Mike work, and yeah. it's amazing. He opened yeah. up that board, and you're just looking at a bunch of wires, and he knows exactly, <laughs> exactly. where to yeah. do things and solder yeah. and strip the wires and then put it back together and it's, it's amazing crazy. Yeah, it's amazing yeah. so we definitely could not have done this without him and uh yeah big thanks to mike stockwell yeah, good and the other guy we want to thank is an old buddy of mine a uh, guy by the name of peter muley yep who is the uh, son of franklin muley the the late great owner uh, of the golden state warriors and uh, Peter had his own broadcasting company there for a while, and uh, when he closed it down, he had a lot of equipment left over, and one day he just showed up here at the school with all this beautiful broadcast equipment that he donated to us, and those professional headsets and microphones that you guys are using out there right now, and all the wiring and the cabling and the uh, remote board are all pretty much because of Peter Muley and his generous donations as well. Uh, I've, I've known Peter for a long time. Uh, you know, he's a good family friend of, of yours, and uh, he is one of the classiest guys, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. And uh, you know, we we'd be out here doing this from our cell phones or something. Without yeah, him. really. I don't even know how we do it. We'd be uh, telegraphing it 
you know, SOS type yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, Morse code. Yeah, Morse code. Thank you. Yes. Uh, but no, it, it, thank you so much to Peter Muley. Uh, really uh, a great guy and uh, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in this business and anywhere you go. So. Yeah, and he really has a great tradition in the Bay Area because his dad owned the Golden State Warriors when they won the NBA championship back in 75, 76. Yep. Wow. And um, quite a quite an interesting uh, gentleman, Franklin Muley, a great man in the in the Bay Area, and uh, just passed away uh, about six months ago.